Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, we are looking at a new Toxapex card. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. In Lost Thunder, we are getting a new Toxapex card, and this one looks rather interesting indeed. Um, and Toxapex is a weird one, right? Because one of the cards I get the most questions about in terms of its competitive viability is Toxapex GX. Now, long story short, it's never quite been good enough and it's got a bad weakness. It's weak to Garboda and it shares a weakness with Boswell, which means all the people trying to counter Boswell, and there are a lot of them, will also be countering Toxapex. But even so, this new Toxapex is pretty nice. Plus, it's a water type, which means you don't need to worry about the whole psychic weakness thing. Now, being a water type does mean you have Brooklyn Hill to search out the basic, which is lovely. And you've got Aqua Patch to accelerate energy, which is lovely. But it means you're not really hitting weakness on very much, which is less than lovely. Yes, Reshiram GX is weak, which is good. But ho -Oh isn't. And as I say on pretty much every video where this comes up, ho the best fire Pokemon, and it ain't got no weakness to water, boo, hiss, etc. Now, in terms of the retreat cost here, it's free, which shouldn't surprise you. Toxapex always has a high retreat cost. Weakness to grass is honestly fine. The worst Pokemon generally you should be worried about are Golisopod and Tapu Bulu. They hit for 120. You've got 120, so act. Actually, just, just don't even worry about it, ladies and gentlemen. They're one hitting you regardless. Although having 120 HP does kind of suck, because Zoroark GX will get a one-hit KO, which, you know... I don't know if you watched as much of the World Championships as I did this weekend, though I have done videos about it, including six lessons we learned. I will try to remember to pop a link to that video in the description. But the point is, Zoroark was everywhere this weekend. Zoroark is real, and it is still around, and it's getting a one-hit KO, which sucks, but there's nothing you can do about it. But as always, it is the attacks with which we are primarily concerned, and our translation, as happens a lot, comes from the lovely David Hockman over at LimitlessTCG.com slash translations. The first one, one water energy, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Gonna be honest with you, it's not particularly good. I'm not particularly loving it. There's just nothing exciting about this. There's a million different Pokemon that we can use to get poison on here. I mean, we've got Poison Barb, which will do it quite nicely. We've actually got the other Toxapex, the only other non-GX one we've had so far, that's got a really nice ability, whereby if your opponent retreats, the new active Pokemon is poisoned. Yes, we are going to talk about the fact those two could combo in a little bit. I mean, we've even got the pre-evolution Marini, which can poison here. As in, literally, the Psychic one has just got an attack for a Psychic Energy, which poisons. Although that is Psychic, not Water Energy, so maybe you're not playing them. What is really cool, we have got both a Psychic and a Water Marini, which means you do get your choice of the two. You can kind of fix your weakness, if that's the kind of thing that you're into. So let's really not worry about this first attack. This first attack, ladies and gentlemen, it ain't no good. But the second attack, oh, I like the second attack. Second attack makes me a little bit happy. According to David, for two water energy, if your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, this attack does 50 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. This is cool. This is really cool. Now, it's obviously not the easiest to attack in the world to get off. You're not just going to be instantly able to get these attacks going. I get that. They've got to be poisoned and they've got to have damage counters on. But there's ways to get around this. So let's take the Toxapex from Sun and Moon. The non-GX one. The only other non-GX one. Your opponent retreats. Their new active becomes poisoned. They take a damage counter. It's your turn. In comes this Toxapex, and you hit for 50. It's not particularly inspiring. Now, I suppose if you're against a Zorua or a Routes, 
they'll be KO'd. And even your 70 HP Pokemon like Trubbish here will be KO'd because they'll have 10 damage on, they'll take 50, they'll still be poisoned and then they'll be KO'd by poison at the end of their turn going up to 70. But this isn't particularly exciting. So what we need are better ways to put free damage on with poison. The way I see it, free is the magic number here. Now, in theory, you poison them, they take 10. After their turn, they take 10. After your turn, they take 10. After their turn, they take 10. Then they come in with 4 and you can hit for 200 and you're fine. It's too awkward. You need to get 3 damage counters on with poison. Then you're hitting for 150. Plus the 3 for poison is 180. But then they take a poison at the end of your turn. They end up at 190. Now we're rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are rolling. Because stuff like Rayquaza, Boswell, etc., they go down to this very nicely indeed. Now, what you can do is just poison them and wait for them to have enough damage. But like I've said, firstly, it takes a bit too much time. But secondly, you're giving them a chance to heal. This is coming out in the same set as Life Forest Prism Star, which means your opponent can heal 60 damage and all special conditions from one of their grass Pokemon. If your opponent is no longer poisoned, it doesn't matter how many damage counters are on them. Remember, they must be poisoned and then you do 50 times as much damage as on them. That's not ideal. What you need here is them poisoned and free damage counters on. So really, you can either poison them, do two damage counters, hope they don't get out of it, they take two coming back. Or you can try and poison them at the end of their turn. This is why the Toxapex from Sun and Moon is so good. Because they get poisoned, and it's their new active that's poisoned, so they're not really going to have many ways out of this. Maybe they're playing a way to get around poison, but even Life Forest Prism Star is one per deck, they're probably going to have to deal with the poison. What you would generally do with poison is want to play something like an Ace Roller, but they can't do that, because they've had to retreat into it. Now, they're not always going to retreat. Sometimes they're going to Guzma, etc. But if they retreat, then they get poisoned. They come into your turn with 10 damage. That's not enough. What you do is you combine this with Surviper. You put two Surviper on the bench. Now, when they retreat into a new Pokemon, they get poisoned. They take three damage counters going into your turn. Then you're golden. Because what happens is they take three damage counters, you hit them for 150, which goes up to 180 in total, then they take another three after your turn, and oh look, now they're up to 210 and stuff like Zoroark will be going down here. You'll notice how I've not mentioned Choice Band yet. Choice Band puts them up to 140 and it's only the odd thing like Metagross, which is going to actually survive that hit. So yes, this seems a little bit awkward. But if you've got two Surviper and the Sun and Moon Toxapex on the bench, they retreat, they go to your turn with three damage counters on with Poison, you hit them for 150, they're at 180 in total, they take three damage counters and go up to 210. That sounds okay by me. And the good news is Alolan Muck will not turn off Toxapex's ability, the bad news is it will turn off Survipers. Now, in terms of energy cost here, you can use Counter Energy if you're behind on prizes, and you can use Aqua Patch, so even though it's two energy, I really don't think that's a problem. And maybe having both the Toxapex and the Surviper is a bit too awkward. But let's not forget you've got Brooklet Hill to help you set up here. And it's all of a sudden starting to look like you might be actually able to pull this off. And that would be awesome. This could be a really fun little deck. Now, if they're not poisoned, boo hiss, etc. And although none of them are at the moment, if you do happen to come across a fairy deck playing Comfy, for instance, that is going to go very, very badly, very, very quickly. But how many people do you know? How many deck lists have you seen lately where your opponents got a way out of poison? Not many. This is a fun combo, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the other thing we need to mention here is Shuckle. Shuckle, I reviewed it the other day. The video's up to 10,000 views. I gave it five wassies. I'm loving Shuckle, and it looks like a lot of other people are as well. Shuckle's got a great ability, meaning it doesn't take damage from Pokemon with two energy attached or fewer. However, 
it's got an attack, the main attack here, one colorless energy, triple poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned, put three damage counters on for poison between turns. This is a great little tech for Shuckle. Remember, Shuckle's colorless energy, so you can play water energy, you can play aqua patch. And now, sure, some turns they're going to be able to get out of poison, but some turns they're not. And this will give you a great KO. Now, a lot of the time, you're going to want to leave Shuckle in the active because of the ability. But this will allow you to get big one-hit KOs. Your opponent takes three damage counters and poison with Shuckle. If they do not get out the active, it's over. Because you're going to come back into your turn with six damage counters and poison. Toxapex is hitting for 300. And yeah, maybe your opponent gets a KO on a single prize Toxapex. Is anyone worried about that? Personally, I'm not. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? It's time to give this a score. I'm giving it between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. I'm going to sit here and tell you this is the best card ever. It's not. But is there a great little combo to be made with Surviper and the other Toxapex? Oh my goodness, yes. Is this worth considering in any deck that has even a passing interest in Poison? Oh my goodness, yes. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I like this card. But if you don't, great news. There's a comment section. Make sure you go nuts, but make sure you be nice. It's very important. And of course, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.